what is up everybody and welcome to a new vlog and in today's vlog we're actually starting to leave turkey all last night i was packing up the car and it's really really full and still we have to fit in two cats and evelina's suitcase so check out how much stuff we got inside this is crazy the whole car is like packed it's like fully packed this is crazy so i'm gonna be like a truck driver driving to our final destination and you'll see the final destination in one of the upcoming videos so it should be interesting so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel to see what's happening we can't get out we thought it's a great idea to have fish soup for the last time and the thing is there's no electricity going to this gate so right now we're a little bit stuck thank god we thought about eating because if this would have happened before when we were in a rush that would have sucked because then Evelina and the cats would be late for the flight and they would suck it'd be flipping crazy anyways we're gonna have a bit of food and then we're gonna get the rest of the things the cats and go on our journey Oh, the last fish soup that we're gonna have. We're coming in right now to have a bit of fish soup and then we're gonna go to drive. We we'll have to pack the rest of the things. The last fish soup, guys. The last flipping fish soup. Guys, we're really gonna miss this fish soup. I'm one heck of a sunburned person right now. Look at me. I'm red like a lobster. So we're off to the airport, as you could see the car is packed, they even have a cat here and Evelina has a cat there. The car is like fully, fully packed, I'll be like a truck driver. Holy cow, this is gonna be one heck of a long journey if you ask me. Right, Pachenka? Ready for the adventure? Yes, you are. Wow guys, first of all I wanna tell you, you see how sunburned I look like. Second of all, the cats and the Evelina are on the airplane right now. What I wanted to say is, the Turkish payment systems are actually like no joke sometimes they have their own limits on payments and it took me like two hours to pay for the cats thank god hopefully Evelina will actually make the flight the cats are on the flight right now I think so let's see how that works out hopefully she makes it hopefully she finds somebody with a wi-fi so she could text me if she's on the airplane so i'm gonna wait here in the parking lot for another 20 minutes and then we're gonna begin our journey and our journey is gonna be quite long and we're gonna be starting it at 8 p.m so i'm guessing for four or five hours we might as well drive then see how we feel and probably stop somewhere because i was hoping that i probably could sleep in my car but unfortunately because my car is so full of things that would literally be absolutely impossible check it out like all of this is the stuff so basically the only place I could sleep is not even recline this so all of this side of the car is just full this is wild this is a lot of stuff like this whole back thing you imagine how big the Escalade is like look at this car and look at the Escalade it's huge anyways let's wait for Evelina maybe she will reply to me somehow and then uh, start our journey. I do need to get some food before anything closes. So maybe we'll find a Macadamia's drive through somewhere um, on our way. Anyways, let's hope for the best and let the awesome journey begin. So Evelina just called me. She said that she's past all the security and waiting for the gate to open for the airplane. So we might as well start up our journey right now right here so let's get going well i'm actually in a town called manavgat right now i came here because it's 8 like 35 right now and i know that every place closes at 10 so i was like might as well get myself some quick snacks over at mcdonald's so let's go get ourselves a bit of mcdonald's and continue our journey well there was one place that i want to try out i mean it's not mcdonald's it's some turkish chicken place which I want to try out I wanted to go to McDonald's but then I saw this place and the last time I was here Evelina didn't want to try it so I guess um, it's a good time to try it since I'm leaving Turkey hopefully it's gonna be good hopefully I'm gonna regret leaving Turkey after having this chicken in this chicken place it's supposed to be very spicy so let's have a go and see how it is guys check this out this is like a full-on dinner look at this 
chicken looking good. This chicken is looking really good. Let's try it out. It actually looks really good. Let's see if it's better than KFC chicken. Guys, this is the stuff. If you're ever in Turkey, you better get here. This is really good. I'm gonna lunch. I'm gonna lunch my dinner. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. And then after that, we're gonna continue our trip. We're gonna drive for like four or five hours until maybe 12 or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Find a place to sleep, sleep, wake up, and continue on our journey. So, bon appetit to whoever is eating as well. Oh my God, would you just look at this chicken burger right here? This looks really, really good. Let's try it out. I'm actually enjoying this place. I wish I would've went here more. No cap, this is better than KFC. Anytime. Or Popeyes. I don't know about the Popeyes in the States, but Popeyes here aren't as good as this place. This place is good. Or better than KFC, the best chicken place ever. Fast food chicken place. And the serving was really quick as well, so I recommend. It's called flipping, I don't even know, Doyuyu or something like that. Oh, guys, I swear that is the best chicken I've ever had. If you're ever in Turkey, you must go there. Now, let's find ourselves where we can get ourselves some coffee and continue our road journey. Probably gonna get coffee in McDonald's. It doesn't look like there's much other places where you could get it. I got myself a coffee. Now it's time to continue the journey. Oh my God, this coffee is so hot. I'm scared of touching it. It's really, really hot. So I've drove like 400 kilometers already and I'm actually feeling good so you never know maybe we'll get to Batumi with no sleep and that's in Georgia so let's see if we're able to do that. Just came to another gas station we have 830 kilometers to Batumi which is supposedly the first stop maybe we could stay up the whole day and actually get to the second stop which is Tbilisi so let's see how that goes if I don't die then that's good well I'm driving right now it's 5 29 a.m. still have not had any sleep and still going strong but look at this imagery it's beautiful Look at this, look at this. If you didn't know what that was, that is the Black Sea. Guys, I have not slept for uh, nearly 24 hours. It'll be nearly 24 hours in, I'd say like two hours or something. So we made it from the Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea in less than 24 hours because I left I left the airport at 8 p.m. which is in Antalya which is by the Mediterranean Sea and I'm at the Black Sea in a town called Samsun at 7 a.m. Wow, this is this is what I why I like driving my car around the place like I'll be honest with you guys the best thing you get to see so many things and I'm not even tired and I've not slept for 24 hours Hopefully I'll make it uh, to Georgia without falling asleep so I can eat some Ancalis. I need some Ancalis into me. But look at the beautiful mountainous areas here. It's beautiful here. Would you just look at that? Wouldn't you just look at it? It's absolutely beautiful. My GPS says we have 3 hours and 59 minutes left until we actually reach Batumi. And you know what? I haven't slept all night like I said already. I'm feeling flipping good, you know, the sandwiches from gas stations. And you know what? My internet randomly ran out, although I topped it up five days ago. And I'm trying to like, you know, in every single country you have a radio station that plays some like, you know, European songs, you know, in English and stuff like that. Not in Turkey. Well, maybe in the region I am in right now, but 
and I don't even know where to put money on my phone so I'm just gonna drive for four hours in Georgia and buy a flipping sim card there I'm not gonna spend any more money on my sim card here heck no heck no not today hopefully they will let me through we are one hour away from the Georgian border let's hope they let me in because if they don't I have no idea what I'll do. What the heck am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Imagine if there are some people that were not let in and they had to like take other routes and those other routes were, eh, if you ask me, pretty crap. So I don't know. So guys, I'm finally in Georgia. Absolutely no problems. Everything is perfect. I'm in flipping Georgia right now. I got my car, 15 day insurance and now we're gonna go over and eat some hinkalis and then we're gonna drive to Tbilisi because I thought, you know, since I haven't slept, it's better to go to sleep after some hinkalis and a very long drive. So we're gonna dr have even a longer drive and that's where we're gonna end the vlog once we arrive to Tbilisi hotel because tomorrow we'll have a very, very long journey. And this is how Georgia looks like. A little bit of Georgia. You have a bunch of people selling insurances and SIM cards here. This is how it looks like. Well, I'm in Georgia and the restaurant I was telling you about the Hinkalis and stuff like that. I'm gonna have Hinkalis and pork barbecue there it's what was recommended I was like this to the customs officer he was asking me a serious question I'm like I got a serious question for you where can I have some good hinkalis he said a place called HB which apparently has one of the best hinkalis so let's go and check it out because I'm starving can't wait for this oh my god look it's a random hot dog place I miss things like that in Turkey Oh, here's the place I'm looking for. Hopefully it's open, so let's go inside. Guys, check out this place. Look at this. Flip an egg. My own room to make videos and nobody to look at me. The nice waiter recommended me ribs, so I got some pork ribs and 10 hinkalis and cream soda lemonade. Can't wait for this. Finally, some normal food. I've been wanting this for such a long time. You can't even imagine. Let's check this out. A bunch of pork after not eating pork for such a long time. This is heaven on earth. And I have no idea how I'm gonna eat all of this. Check this out, guys. A bunch of flipping pork. This is good. What can I say my honest thoughts about this? I've expected something better to be honest with you it's not what i've expected maybe i forgot the taste of pork you never know now this is what i was waiting for this is shit hopefully this is gonna be good though because if it's not gonna be good it's gonna piss me off so hot that it's too hard to grab it with your hand so you gotta do it like a professional where the heck is the zoom hello what is flipping nice you gotta take a bite out of it Suck the juice inside and eat the meat. Now your bets. Is this gonna be good or is it gonna be not good? You know what? I think that the Hinkalis over at that random place when we were driving from Russia, remember that video? Were actually better than this. But it's not bad those Hinkalis that I'm eating right now. They're not bad. But those ones back then, they were flipping awesome. Better find that place once again on the way. Because we're gonna be driving to Tbilisi, so that's like right there, anyways. Hey, Look at this. Oh, <laughs> happy birthday, dog. Hey, what are you not eating? I didn't eat it. He's shy. One. 
Dziękuję. Najwyższy jest vegetarian. Oni poszli już, dobra. Ale Lubię czy jest vegetarian. No, no, to jedno może mu dać. Come on. Maybe to oh, okay. jest. O. Jakiś rzecz, no. He's well behaved. Yeah, he's well behaved. <laughs> have a nice day. Yeah, you have a nice day as well. You enjoy that meat, dog. I could say one thing. The hinkalis were fine, not the best. They're like good enough. The thing that pissed me off is I'm never listening to anybody's recommendation about any meat. I wanted normal shashlik. The guy was like, no, you should take this, you should take... He peer pressured me into taking that meat, which I didn't like. And then I was about to leave it. I wanted to take it with me to feed the dog the first time. And then he's like, well, you know what? That box is gonna cost you money. So I was like, you know what? I'm not leaving it for you. I'm gonna feed the dog with it. So the dogs are gonna eat it now. Very nice. The main road to Tbilisi was closed, so now we have to, I'm following some random guys that I don't even know where they're going, but I'm guessing they're going to Tbilisi and we're like having a bit of a off-roading experience. What a lovely evening. Nice. We're bouncing, we're bouncing. Oh my God, guys, this road trip sucks. I'm not even showing myself right now because it's too dark, but we're driving through flipping mountains and whatever, like for God knows how long. And I'm dying of sleep deprivation. And I'm only gonna be at the hotel or something at like 1 a.m. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, I found some random hotel which we're gonna check out. If the elevator starts moving, I guess I have to do it. Oh, here we go, I had to attach the car to it. So we're on the 16th floor. This is the only hotel that price and quality seem to match on the photos. So let's go and check it out. Is any good? Hopefully it's not very really crap. Oh, where the heck is the light switches? Oh, here we go. This is the room that I got myself. Huh? You know what? It's actually not that bad. It's a bit of a rip off, but. Damn, look at this shower though. Look at this. And I also get free breakfast. Which is not that free because I paid for it. Anyways, I could say one thing. The roads, I thought the roads in Russia were the worst. Nope, in Georgia, they're way worse. Second of all, the hotels in Turkey are way, 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 way cheaper than in Georgia. Well, in Belize anyways. But I just had to take it, you know, because I'd die if I don't. And there's no way I could sleep in the car. Like, there's, like, no way to recline the seats. So, guys, this is how a face of a person who hasn't slept for, like, 29 hours looks like. So now we're going to get some sleep. Adios, and see you in tomorrow's vlog. And if you haven't liked it, you press that like button right now.